Exercise is very, very important for pregnant women, and I regret being so lazy during my first pregnancy. I gained almost 60 pounds, can you believe that? It took me so long to lose the weight, but I still did it. For my second baby, I've started personal training on the fourth month, and I'm six months now, and I've only gained 13 pounds. Good job, right? Big thanks to my high school friend since grade nine, Lucia, and she found me the best place to do my workouts. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm here with Janet, and my name is Lucia, and we're at Bounce Limit. So Janet has a baby. I'm six months now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be putting Janet on the rebounder because there's instability involved. And with instability, it's going to help her actually wake up her involuntary muscles with her transverse abdominis and her rectus abdominis to make sure she actually can be strong and healthy for her baby. Now, what I want you to do is put your hands on top of her waist, right. and you're going to slide your hand down to your pubis bone, mm -hmm. get right underneath the belly, and we're going to do some breathing technique today. All right, and that breathing technique, what it helps is, is she's actually utilizing her rectus abdominis as well as the transverse abdominis to help aid, for one, she can push her baby out a lot more uh, sufficiently, and two, as well as help actually in strengthen her lower back. Because most of pregnant women would want to arch their back because the baby is protruding out. That actually causes a lot of back pain, so we don't want that for Janet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she you know our tape. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do is kick the hands down to the pubis bone, okay. and we're going to cough for me. <coughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Now, the coughing, what it does, it actually contracts the abdominis. Mm -hmm. And do you feel it nice and tight right below the belly? Yes. Good. Now, you're going to feel that your belly is going to become a little smaller. Mm -hmm. That's okay for the baby. Don't worry about it. It's just the muscles actually contracting and supporting the body around the baby a little bit more. Now from here, we're going to inhale four counts mm -hmm. and then exhale four counts. But what you need to do for me is keep here contracted and try not to let it go. All right, let's go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, two, two, three, Four. Good. How does it feel? All right? Okay. Excellent. Keep doing it. Four counts in and four counts out. Now from here, we have to make sure all these areas are nice and tight. So I'm just going to give you a little touch. Good. Nice. Making sure your lower back is not arched. Shoulders relaxed. Excellent. Now she's not bouncing on this. It's just that the rebound her concaves in so then she's working on her lower pelvic floor as well as well as her bum so that everything in the core can support herself and the baby better. Now just a slight reminder when you inhale you have to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth but one pre-warning is that you have to breathe in slowly so from three to four seconds that's enough try not to go too fast is because you might get dizzy, so we wouldn't want that to happen. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more training with me and Lucia.